I think at this point, I can set up this shit with my eyes open. Put a blindfold on. Put a blindfold on. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> I like the blindfold on. But you gotta test it because they're not gonna believe me. Okay. Oh, no, I can't see shit for. Really blind, he's really blind, can't see me. I ain't gonna lie, this feels crazy. If I was ever, yo, thank God I'm not blind. And like, if I was ever blind, I think I would probably lose my mind and kill myself. My eyes are so important to me. We be forgetting how blessed we are. Mm-hmm. Because nigga, low-key, my anxiety through the roof right now. Sometimes my stomach just can't take shit at all. Shit buzz. I hate having Crohn's. I would don't wish this on nobody. If you have Crohn's or you know what it is, or you know somebody with Crohn's, send them my love. for over a week and here I am in the fucking hospital back at it again this is Amber hi Amber hi <laughs> Amber's taking care of me she's not even supposed to be taking care of me she's just such a great person that she decided to come take care oh, of me thanks well, next is morphine I'm not I don't want you to get up or anything I'm gonna put your rails up so you can't Start walking around. You're good to go right now. You already peed. Uh -oh. No problems, right? No problems. All right. She just hit me with the morphine. Hopefully that shit works, because sometimes that shit doesn't even work. Crohn's is a motherfucker, for real. I know a lot of morphine just smell real quick. I don't want to be here, but I'm here. Yeah, morphine, a motherfucker. Y'all niggas who do morphine like at the crib type shit, y'all niggas is different, but so yeah, we at the hospital. Y'all just saw me. Doing this shit with your eyes closed. It's dirty. Okay. Once you hear that click, you know that shit ain't, ain't one, huh? I said okay. <laughs> okay. See, but that's my muscle memory. Everything gotta go back in its place. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. that. Okay, this is the plug. I know what this is. Here they go. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna go power over here. So this is for power. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just caught my mouth open like a motherfucker just now. <laughs> See that's a pump. Okay, here we go. This goes behind. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this shit off. I'm like, this shit looks so ugly. <laughs> Mad as fuck. Okay, so where we at now? We over here. This has to go for the computer. Come on. Find a hole. You're good at finding a hole, Pong. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to find a hole, nigga. Okay. From where we was at, just like a few weeks ago, compared to where we at now, it just showed me that life could change a lot. This type of shit. So when I be sitting here, I be like looking at the city and shit, I be just like thinking about it. Like, niggas be sleeping on the couch real quick. Niggas was up. Niggas lost everything. Like, all the shit that a nigga done been through type shit. That really done got us here. Like this shit right on my shoulders for real. Because like you could have told me like two weeks ago that this is what I'm gonna do right the fuck now, you feel me? Like this shit feel different. Cause everything about it real, like everything being real is just like I ain't scared to talk about nothing. Like, ain't nothing off limits, you feel me? Like, everything fair game. Like, I'm really just giving niggas my life for real. Like, on every level. Like, I ain't never been this transparent before. Like, I ain't never really let motherfuckers in like that before. Like, this shit on a different level. I turn off for the fine that bitch. I fuck with that shit. Mm -mm. What happens next? <laughs> Watch what happens after I do this. You be like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Lord, I just been praying for forgiveness, yeah, yeah. Lord, I just been praying I don't die. Dead, I leave him dead, I leave him dead, yeah, yeah. I'm dead, I leave him dead, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. I know that shit gonna sound hard though. <laughs> Lord, I just been praying for forgiveness. Lord, I just been praying we don't die. Dead, I leave him dead. I leave him dead. Lord, I just been praying we survive. Oh, oh my God, the fuck just happened there? That shit gonna be hard. Got in on the
I think that's my favorite song. <laughs> For real. That shit's so hard. The Michael Jackson is trap shit. Uh, Michael Traps. Hey. <laughs> All right, bro. What the fuck? How do you think your peers um, embrace you and embrace your vision? I don't care. I don't care how my peers embrace my vision. Because my vision not for my peers. It's okay. Like A lot of artists get frustrated. Shit, I done been there. But then when you realize who you talking to and who you're doing this for and why you doing this shit, your peers are the last thing on your mind. Yeah, like I want all the accolades. I want this and that because I'm in competition with myself to prove that I could be the best artist that I could be. And those things like Grammys and Billboard and all that, they've associated greatness with those things, unfortunately. So in my mind, learning the game and studying this shit all my life, I want those things. Like, I won't feel like I'm not successful if I don't get those things, but I know the caliber of artist that I am. And if they could do it, <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah. You consider yourself to be a superstar? Do I consider myself to be a superstar? I think I'm the most famous, unfamous person in the world. I've been like famous all my life. Like if popularity equates to fame somehow, I've been famous without TMZ and shit. Cause anywhere I go and I touch soil, like I either know somebody or somebody knows me or I'm connected to somebody somewhere. Like I've never had a normal life or a regular life where I can just step outside and like not be recognized by somebody. Music wise, oh yeah, I'm a superstar. Cause the stage is where I shine the brightest. Like, like that's my galaxy. You feel me? The studio, my galaxy. I'm the brightest star in that motherfucker. This the Milky Way, my nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know what to say for real without sounding like cocky and shit. But like, I I believe in myself so much because I know. I know what the people tell me. I know the reactions I get. It's different. It's, it's more than just like, I think I'm a hot artist. Like, nah. The validation comes from the way my music makes people feel. The way that they express their feelings to me when they hear my music or what my music gets them through. Yeah, I know we got it. And like, I just feel like being blessed enough to be on a platform or have a platform to share it to the world and spread that type of shit to everybody. That's a blessing. You feel me? Yeah. So what we doing? I'm taking my meds today. A lot of people don't know I got Crohn's disease. So for those people who knew me all my life, they're like, how you got so skinny? Why his hair was falling out and all that shit? I got Crohn's, you feel me? Wait, where's the food coming from? So, I gotta take these injections so I can eat and fucking keep my weight on and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Every few weeks, I gotta, you feel me? Shoot up. So, yeah. how you take it? I'm about to show you. Take my little alcohol swab and shit. You feel me? Get the area. <laughs> you feel me? My hands are clean. And it's the needle right here. And then, uh, I go for the kill. Inject that bitch slowly. Push that bitch in. 
And this is Life of Crohn's, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I never thought I'd be doing this shit ever in my life. But I do this shit, you feel me? Cause ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting on that motherfucking stage if I gotta take these meds so I can be motherfucking healthy. That's what the fuck a nigga gonna do. What's up? Yeah, that's the fluid. So that's the little fluid bump. It's gonna go down. Then you go for round two. On the other side. Two? Yeah, two. Um, oh. You're going for kill, man. Boom. See, that one was way easier. Life with crumbs, you feel me? So when you see me jumping around doing my thing, <laughs> cause a nigga be on top of his health shit, you feel me? It's always been this way with her. The more I get everyday life, you feel me? That's it. What are the biggest obstacles you are facing right now? The biggest obstacles I'm facing right now. Kind of like Willy Wonka, like Charlie, with the golden ticket, but nobody knows I got it. I feel like I'm like, yo, I got the golden ticket, bruh. And niggas just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how it feels. That's my biggest obstacle. Rem reminding myself what I already know when it feels like nobody hears you or sees you. You know who you are. You know who the fuck I am. But it's like, do they see me though? Do they know? And then it becomes, I think they do know. And then it becomes, nah, they fucking know. They fucking know. You feel me? So yeah, that's my biggest obstacle. Overcoming the motherfucking everyday demon of like not being where you want to be when you feel like you're supposed to be there already. Patience is a motherfucker in this game, you feel me? And when you've been doing it for so long and you feel like, like you feel like you're on the hamster wheel and you're just running, you don't feel like you're going nowhere. That'd be the obstacle. Because then you get, because then people would be like, yo, you're so good. Why aren't you famous yet? And then it's like, Thank you, but then it's like, thanks. You feel me? Cause it's like, nigga, I already feel like that. So it's like, it's a catch 22, it's bittersweet. Cause you know they see it in you or else they wouldn't say it. You feel me? But then it's just like, and besides that, the bag. <laughs> you know, you already know. Doing this shit is like, everything is out in the mud, everything is by myself, but like, as an upcoming artist getting to this point, it's like the bag is always going to be the biggest obstacle. But if you focus on that shit, you're going to die before you even get there. So, yeah, that's it. I ain't got no other obstacles. Hard drive. Hard drive is in its compartment. See, this is the beauty about being organized. I can literally do this shit with my eyes closed. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I got Mike. Mm, Mike. <laughs> I got it. Fuck, nigga. Yeah. Oh, look. All right, wait. There's weed on here still? Yes, there's weed right there. Fuck that. I'm, I'm blind. We gonna... Hold up. Where's my ball at? Oh, headphones. Ooh, see? I almost forgot headphones. I'm thinking I'm done. I ain't done. This the weed right here? Mm-hmm. 
trying to feel it so I don't fucking. I feel like I'm spreading weed everywhere. You're not. Good job. Just put it right back where right. you. Yep. That's right it. There. That's the leaf right mm-hmm. now. That's the leaf. Don't help me. Okay. Bro, my mouth got open this whole fucking time. That's how you know I'm fucking <laughs> I feel like I'm missing weed. You are. See? It's a lot of weed or a little no. bit? Okay. No, no, I feel, I th- I'm thinking in my head. It's because I can't see it. So, yeah, so you don't really know what you are like. Because before I saw how much I broke down, but now I don't remember. So it felt like it was a little, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I would have won that money, fool. <laughs> there was a contest at the fucking weed event. They were having a blindfolded rolling contest. I would have won that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I signed up and nobody wanted to fucking do it. I take my ears away. Oh no! Nah. See, I can live without eyes, I guess. <laughs> but ears? Oh no, 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 no! Kill me. Okay, this the speaker button. So that's up a little bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell me I got it. Mm-mm. You didn't get it. <laughs> Bat space. <laughs> That's backspace? Okay, yeah, you good. Go ahead. So if this is backspace, where are my numbers at? It's not one right here. You can don't tell me. Okay. No? No. You smoke my drink? Yeah. No? Yes. Man. <laughs> Crazy that everything was your eyes closed. Where your um headphones? My headphones on my head. Oh there. So nothing else keeps you up at night. You know what keeps me up at night? Knowing that I gotta go to sleep. And when I wake up. If God bless me with another day, I'm back on the hamster wheel. Not going no fucking way. Just running real fast, my nigga. You feel me? Where exactly do you want to go? I want to go to the top. What's the top look like to you? The top looks like to me, beyond music, or are we speaking music? The top musically for me is multi Grammy award winning, Billboard. Uh, uh, uh. You know, my, when they when they introduce my name, they gotta have like ten things before that shit. You know when they, you know what I'm saying? That's the top for me for music. For music, when we talking about the top, you, my name gotta have a couple prefixes at that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A couple. You know what I'm saying? That's the top for me. Knowing that all this shit paid off and I was able to impact the whole world. And that's somebody that's probably watching this shit right the fuck now. 
can be like, hey, that nigga did it. I could do that shit because I ain't had no daddy either, nigga. My mama was working 14 hour shifts and I was raising myself and we was raising each other on the block. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all of that. My mama didn't come from this country. She came from, learned a different language. She came from Haiti. You understand what I'm saying? Like we had all, we got the whole story, my nigga. So if I could do this shit, you could do this shit. You feel me? That's the top for me. When somebody comes up to me and says, oh, you're my favorite artist. Yeah, that's what's up. But you inspire me to do this, 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 that. Look, this is what I do. Da 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 da. He ain't even gotta do music. The nigga ain't even gotta rap. But like, if you part of the mafia, like, the top to me means that I impacted you in order to impact somebody else, in order to impact somebody else, so we could have some something, my nigga. Like, music is just the catalyst, bro. That shit don't mean nothing once they turn you off. You feel what I'm saying? But when they turn you off, like, what do you leave them with? Is there something else that's going to resonate besides just the music? Because we have a lifestyle over here. The mafia move is one, bro. You fuck with one rose, you fuck with a bunch of dead roses, nigga. All your roses is going to be dead. Because it's not no, like, there's no separation because the thought process is, yo, we are one. This don't matter. Where we come from don't matter. None of that. We already like poem music, so we got something in common. But what else do we have in common beyond this? When we leave the show, what are we what are we linking up? We gonna build together? What are we doing? Like that's what the mafia is. That's what the top looks like to me. All the accolades, yeah, that's cool. But if I'm able to impact people like that, yo, you can kill me now. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like that's the top. Giving people that confidence and feeling they so. So where do you see yourself in five years, 10 years, and then 20 years from now? Five years from now, headlining the tour overseas, like sold out everywhere though. Five years? <laughs> Listen, overseas, like we're doing a big world tour. Five years from now, we calling it the family reunion. Like what you mean? We just getting started though, like, like that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ten years from now, they're gonna be like, "Yo, did you know that this nigga King Pong wrote the like number one country music? This is the song of the year." Like, yeah, like we pushing. I'm pushing it all. Oh, Twenty years from now, I'm gonna be one of. Them. I'm gonna be like YouTube. I'm gonna be like Bono, nigga. I come from like the trenches for real. My whole run in music has been through all the strip clubs, all the streets, all the DJs, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And the mainstream side of that shit. And the underground, like my hands being everything. So it's like, I'm the one that's going to bring everything together. That, that That's what I live for. You feel me? Yeah. 20 years from now, it's going to be decent. Niggas just got to stay alive. <laughs> Any last words from Mafia? Anything you want your viewers to know, your family to know? My name is King Palm, AKA Sauce Pop Poppy. If you don't know me, your girl know me. And if she don't, she knows somebody who do. I represent FBA, that's family before all. And if you fucking with me, you are not a fan. You are part of my family. And if you're part of the family, you're part of the Mafia. Welcome to the mafia. Yeah, I had to get my lip back. Try to shut me out to play with nigga that's that get back. Yeah, I want revenge, I want revenge, I want revenge. Yeah, I want revenge, I want revenge, I want revenge. Turn it up again, I want yeah, revenge, I had to get my lip back. Try to shut me out to play with nigga that's that get back. Yeah, I want revenge, I want revenge, I want revenge. Yeah, I want revenge, I want revenge, I want revenge. Turn it up again, I want revenge, I want revenge. Yeah, 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 yeah